Hey guys, this is a not a normal video that I'd make, but I just wanted to recommend this food to whoever might be um, interested. This thing here can help you lose weight because a lot of the weight that people put on is from carbohydrates and the most amount of carbohydrates that people eat comes from rice, pasta, potatoes. So if you've been looking for a great rice alternative, this is the best that I've ever found, guys. And it tastes fantastic. And it's 100% plant-based and it's got 93% lower carbs than white rice. You can see the information down there. It's got 19 kilocalories or calories, so to say. Uh, it's got 0.3 grams of fat. It's got 0.1 grams of saturates. 1.3 grams of sugars and 0 0.03 grams of salt, which are all per 100 gram serving. Now, let's compare this to other rice alternatives, quote unquote, and to rice itself, white rice. So now you can see that this has 19 calories of energy and 2 grams of carbs, right? Now, compared to white rice, white rice is 100 and 30 kilocalories. This is per 100 gram serving. So for the same sort of quantity as this, right? Got brown rice, which is usually an alternative that people go for, while slightly healthier than white rice, it's still got 125 kilocalories and 26 grams of carbs. Couscous is another popular alternative. That's 120 kilocalories, 21 grams. Not that much less than white rice. I think at this point, you might just be eating white rice than any of these other alternatives, of course, uh, unless you're looking for other benefits. And then there's a popular quinoa that people really think uh, is quite a good alternative, which is not bad. It's about 50% amount of calories and uh, not that much less carbs, actually. It just seems like a lot of the carbs um, in quinoa are not that well digested. So, you know, you poop them out, I guess. But rice cauliflower just wipes the floor with all of them. And guys... It doesn't taste that bad. Obviously, nothing actually tastes like white rice if you're used to that taste. But once you've been eating this for a while, the taste actually becomes acquired. So it actually tastes really good to me, for instance, right? And if you're interested in, you know, other things, you know, all the free froms, it's kosher, which is, uh, I guess, a Jewish requirement if you're uh, practicing that religion. It's gluten-free. So if, you're, if you've got celiac disease or you're, you don't eat gluten for whatever reason, it's vegan. Uh, we all know what that is. It's preservative free, so that's super healthy. No added salt, that's very important. And non GMO, that's my favorite of all the list because you know I hate GMO food. Yeah, and there's the nutrition information again, clearly displayed. Love it. And look at the ingredients cauliflower, 100%. No nonsense, no messing around, nothing. And how do you prepare this? If you have a microwave, it's two minutes. And this is my preferred method, of course. Stir fry for two minutes, it's absolutely sensational. I love this thing, absolute, highly recommended. I can't talk about it enough. Full green riced cauliflower, 100% cauliflower, no nonsense.